Hi guys, so really here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one then, I'll be talking about Swan City's game at Plymouth Argyle this evening, where they finished Plymouth Argyle 1, Swan City 1 at Home Park. So yeah, it was another Friday for Swan City and the first opportunity for Swan City fans to actually go to a game in this pre-season. Around the 212 Swan City fans went down to Plymouth Argyle, so fair play to every single one of you who went. Swan City lineup then, it was Andy Fisher in goal, Nathan Wood, Harry Darling, Kyle Norton, Joel Atabordia, Jay Fulton, Matt Grimes the captain, Matty Cernola, Joel Pro, Olivier Encham, Michael Obafemi. Yeah, not a bad team on paper. Of course, a lot of players off the bench. Joel Cottrell, Brandon Cooper, Ryan Manning, Carl Joseph, Dan Williams, Ollie Cooper, Nathaniel Ogbetter, Cameron Congreve, Jay Patterson, Liam Cullen, all coming off the bench as well as part of the game. The only unused substitution was Lewis Webb who was a backup goalkeeper. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Look, it's not a great result in the end. It's pre-season, so no need to worry about Joel Pro getting the opening goal of the game. A couple of minutes into the game, Plymouth Argyle failed to clear their line, takes a little bit of flexion, pops up to Joel Pro, chests it down to a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful volley into the goalkeeper's top right-hand corner. It's a really, really good finish from Joel Pro and how he sells on City, City player at the time recording, I do not know. He had some other chances. Pro, Femi and Gemma had uh, decent enough chances, but we all didn't. Denied. Lapse of concentration in towards the um, first half. Plymouth had a few chances. They made some changes as well. Ryan Hardy then getting the equaliser for Plymouth with about a minute to go. Not great defending from Swan City. Good finish from uh, Hardy in the end. But yeah, 1-1. One, one. Look, I'm a little bit disappointed really. Um, I hate to be negative, but you know, look at the bench. It's just not strong enough. And if we want to be top six contenders, we can't be given the likes of Liam Cullen, Joel Cottrell, Nathaniel Ogbetter, Carl Joseph minutes, because they're just not good enough for championship level, unfortunately. Um, we need a lot of recruitment, I've got to be honest. How we've still not got a recognised right wing back or right back, really, is a bit of a joke. The season starts in just over two weeks, really, and we're still searching for a right wing back. It is quite concerning. You look, there's free agents, there's loans we can utilise in the market, and we just seem really, really slow. We've sold Flynn Downs, we've got plenty of money in the bank, and we're still, you know, very, very slow on the transfer front. We're linked with Marcus Harness, and for me, that'll be a really, really poor signing. Portsmouth fans aren't too bored of that. He leaves. He's, they say he's a decent attacking player, but as a wing back, he is truly awful. He can't cross and can't defend, apparently, and apparently we want to bring him as a right wing back, which will be just really, really excellent. Long considering Porter's fans don't rate him there at all. Yeah, for Swan City then, there was no Stephen Bender, Morgan Whitaker in the match day squad tonight. Does that mean they could potentially be off? Potentially. A bit of a shame about Stephen Bender, to be honest with me. Better goalkeeper than Andy Fisher. I don't really care if a goalkeeper can play out from his feet. I don't really care if that's the way Martin wants to play. At the end of the day, a goalkeeper is in goals to save shots. And for me, Andy Fisher is not great at doing that. Morgan Whitaker, look, I don't really... Not too really bothered about that. Again, we spent decent money on him and we won't be getting that feedback. And the other one who also missed on the squad tonight was Jordan Garrick, who has played right wing back before, but we won't give him opportunity. We'll decide Marcus Harness from Portsmouth, who's near enough his 30s. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that signing. But, yeah, I'm quite negative tonight. I'm, apologies about that. But it's just frustrating because apparently we didn't play well at tonight. We didn't play that well. We didn't create that many opportunities. And... It's concerning because the scene starts over two weeks. Depth wise, we're not looking good. You know, centre midfielders in terms of fit centre midfielders, we've only got Matt Grimes and Jay Fulton, and apparently Jay Fulton is supposed to be leaving the club because Martin doesn't want him. Joe Allen's not fit enough to start at the moment. Um, yeah, we just need some right wing backs. Honestly, it's so frustrating because there's players out there. There's players who are available right now who could come into the club, but. Yeah, so fair play to anyone who goes to a friendly game. I'm not too hard about going to a friendly personally. Yeah, let me know your thoughts about today's 1-1 draw against Plymouth Argyle. For me, a lot of negatives and, you know, that bench tonight was really, really frightening indeed. If we go into the championship against Rotherham with the majority of that bench, yeah, we're not getting top six. It's as simple as that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please smash like, comment, subscribe. I would have done a watch long tonight, but I'm not paying £5 for a friendly. No chance in hell. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next match review.